Hello my gorgeous loves out there and welcome. In today's video, we are gonna talk about the newest makeup releases. I'm gonna let you know my thoughts on them, whether I would purchase or pass, and just have some good old fun looking at some new makeup. But before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie, and I'm just a crazy lover of all things beauty, and I like to post a lot of fun, colorful makeup content. I like to do a lot of indie makeup, so if that's what you're into, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. But with that being said, let's get into this video. So loves, it has been a while since I actually filmed a new makeup release video and lately I was like avoiding it because sometimes I feel like the more I look at new releases, the more I want to buy makeup. But you know what? I need to show some self-control because it is fun to talk about makeup. We can admire pretty things from afar. We don't have to buy it. And I think there's a lot of cool releases and I would love to share my opinions about it and also hear your guys' opinions about it because your guys' feedback in the comments is the best part of doing these videos. But before we get into the releases, if you're curious on what is on my eyes, I did film this for Instagram. I don't know if it's up yet, but I did a look with the One Up palette from Letho Cosmetics and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So that should come up soon. So definitely follow me on my Instagram. I'm at Breezy underscore beauty and Breezy lifestyle. I post on both of them, but I do like makeup looks on my beauty channel, which would make sense. But before we do like start talking about the releases, I like to put this out there. If I happen to hate something you love or dislike something you really love in these releases, please don't take it personal. Or if I totally love something you dislike, this is based on like my preferences, what I like when it comes to makeup. So we can all be friends here. We don't always have to agree. You know, we can just hang out <laughs> and have our opinions, right? So let's just dive in. I'm not gonna go too far back because it's been a while since I filmed one of these. So I'm sure there's tons of releases that have come out since I last did a video about releases. So I'm gonna move over here and the makeup will pop up here like the photos. So the first thing that I wanted to mention is this right here. This is a collab with Kathleen Lights and Il Maquillage. They did the Deity Disco Collection, which is a very neutral collection. Has like a little pop of lavender in here, but it's mainly browns, some pinky mauvey shades. There was also eyeliners in the collection and stickers, so you could decorate the front of it. I think it looks nice. It's a nice neutral palette, but it doesn't give me disco vibes at all. Like when I think of disco times, I think of glitter, I think of color and patterns and just like funky colors and stuff this totally didn't give me the disco vibes but you know what i'm sure there was someone at the disco with some neutral makeup on but when i think of that era i think of a lot of glitter and color and this didn't give me that um but i do love kathleen lights i watch her videos i think she's so funny and fun and when i really started getting into like watching youtube like makeup stuff she was one of the first influencers that i watched so i still watch her to this day but this is definitely not like my type of collection but it is available now the eye pencils are 22 dollars each there's the sticker sheets for nine dollars that's expensive for some stickers and then the palette with the stickers is 73 dollars Wow, that's kind of a pricey palette, but I've never tried Il Maquillage. I don't know anything about them or their products, um, but they just seem to be a little bit on the pricey side. Ooh, I also wanted to mention, which these things are already available, but Cleona Cosmetics did expand their stained glass collection, which I'm so excited about. And they came out with a bunch of different shades. I think they came out with 54 new shades and they had like new like uh, categories to add it. So I did pick up the, I think it was like the Electric Vibrant Multichromes. I think that was the one that I picked up. I just picked up one of those bundles and it already shipped to me. So I can't wait for that to come. I will probably do a swatch party on that. But if you want to see like a full swatch party on the collection, Angelica Nikobis did that on her channel and it was amazing swatches. So I'll link her video below if I can remember. But I'm sure a lot of you guys already follow her because she's just so amazing. And then going on, there is this little collection right here from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. And this is already available. This is the Strawberry Feels collection. And I love the theme of this collection. And I was like so excited. I was like, ooh, I can't wait to see what comes out. I'm thinking like strawberry collection means there's blushes because 
I am a lush for blush so I was like ooh, I can't wait to see what there will be and this ended up being like a palette that it looks like there's maybe two reds in here some light pinks and neutrals then there was some liquid lipsticks and like red and peachy colors which makes sense for a strawberry collection and then is it a lip mask yeah so the palette is 34 dollars the uh, lip products the lip liquid lipsticks are $20 each and the pout spoken lip liners were $18 each and then the jelly mask is $22. It's cute but it's not exactly what I would have envisioned for a strawberry like themed collection. Like, I wish that there was some greens you know some greens uh some more true reds. I wish that there was like a strawberry colored blush that would have been beautiful um, but it leaned a little bit too neutral with, you know, a few pinks in there. And I have a lot of palettes that look like this. So I'm, I'm glad it didn't pull me in because if it was that pink and red and green color story, I may have purchased it. So it actually helped my pockets out. And then going on, let's see what else has come out. There's so much, but I don't want to mention all of them because, you know, I don't have that much time. Then there was this release from Gourmand Girls Cosmetics. This is already available. This is the Ethereal palette. I think this is an all shimmer palette. Yes, there's eight dual chromes, four multi chromes. It's $54.99. Ooh, this looks really pretty. And I'm a sucker for dual chromes and multi chromes. And I just love how this looks. I don't know anything about Gourmand Girls Cosmetics. I've never tried anything from them but it does look really pretty, like the shades that are in here. But I've already picked up this, you know, expansion collection from Cleona. I already got like the All I Ever Wanted palette from Unearthy that has a bunch of multi-chromes and dual chromes. So I know I don't need to add any more. I have a lot already in my collection that I need to spend more time using, but this looks beautiful. And hopefully one day I'll eventually try Gourmand Girl Cosmetics. So a lot of their releases look really pretty. There's also a release by Made by Mitchell, which is a brand I've been curious about as well. They just haven't released anything that's fully pulled me in and I don't think this is it either. But this is the Mango Eyeshadow Palette, which is a rainbow palette. It looks like it's mainly mattes and that there's a few shimmers. I think there's also some blushes, some liquid blushes that came out in the collection. And I I think there are some other products, some liners. Ooh, this looks really pretty. Those blushes look gorgeous. Like there's some yellowy ones, some like different types of orange shades, which I love orange and yellowy toned blushes. They look pretty. Like that part was pulling me in, but I don't need any more blushes. I don't need any more added to my collection at this point because I've already, you know, have bought a fair amount of blushes this year. Now going on to some other things. Oh, ColourPop came out with liners. So they came out with the Get In Line BBY eyeliners. And from what I saw, they used to have this product before and then it went away and then they're bringing it back in like different shades. I think that's what I, I heard from someone. But there's 10 shades and they have like you know a teal it looks like browns a wine color some pastels and i think i can't remember how much these are going for is it like eight dollars each so something like that maybe nine dollars and it's already available on their website and i actually did pick up a couple of these because i've been really getting into graphic liners and i think it looks so cool and the looks that people are creating and it's just so trendy now and I was like, these actually look like they're easy to apply. Like when I was watching people show like easy graphic liner looks with these. And I was like, I'm intrigued. So I picked up some of the more like pastel-y shades because I just wanted to give it a try. They're affordable. I had a coupon code. I don't think I spent that much to get a couple of the shades. So I will be using that on my channel whenever they arrive. But I found them intriguing. I definitely did. Then there's a new release from about face and i did pick up two of the blushes from this collection this is the feeling flush cream blushes there's 10 shades it's available now and they're 18 dollars each it's available on their website i don't think they came to ulta maybe they'll eventually will 
but it said it was like had a natural finish or weightless not sticky cream formula which is what i like when it comes to cream blushes and what pulled me in was i felt like the shades were really unique and they had some that just was like so unique to my collection that i was like i need to add those so i picked up the purple one like that beautiful purpley shade looks so cool i was like i i'm a sucker for a purpley blush which i actually have like a lavender blush on today and then I picked up the one that's more red, like the ready blush. And I was like, yes, I love a red blush. I love a purple blush. They're unique. They're different. I don't have any of those blushes and those colors in a cream formula. So I was like, yes. And I didn't think they were that expensive. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it out. I'm going to see what they're all about. And I might have found a discount code. I always like Google for a discount code. And I think I found one. I can't fully remember. But it, it wasn't that much. And I got it off their website. And they also offer like free shipping after 30 bucks. So I got these. So I will use these on my channel soon. Obviously, the no buy is failing miserably. And I would say maybe I'm more on a low buy, I think. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep on keeping on, as Teresa's dad would say on her channel. Then this came out from Unearthly Cosmetics, and yes, I purchased it, okay? I cannot deny any releases from Unearthly Cosmetics. I just can't stay away from them, and that's why I'm failing miserably. But this palette right here is called the Vitality Palette, which is available on their site now. And this is a big palette, which I don't think they've ever come out with a palette this big that also had mattes. Like they have those all dual chrome, multi chrome ones, but not one that included mattes as well. And this is mainly mattes. There's only four shimmers in here, but the shades look so beautiful. There's pastels. There's a matte white. I'm sure it's a good matte white. I'm sure they did a good job with that one. And then the shimmers and just the color options in here look so beautiful. So I was like, you know what? This needs to be in my life. I need this to be in my my house, in my collection. So I got it and hopefully it will ship soon and I can test it out for you guys and do a couple of looks. But I think this was like $50. Where's the price for this? $50, yes. I'm excited for that. And then they also came out with glitter liners and I did also pick up a few shades of the glitter liner because I yet again I've been getting into using liners and doing like the little like glitter lines and stuff I think it looks cool and I love a good glittery like wing liner too and the shades are so beautiful so I got a few shades in this like collection there's one two three yeah there's five shades and they all look absolutely stunning they were $12.50 each so they weren't that expensive at all they're actually quite affordable and they just looked cool so I picked up a couple okay so I'll probably use it along with the palette but uh, unearthly needs to stop coming out with releases I can't deny them they're hurting my pockets they're killing me here then the next release which is from Huda Beauty they came out with the Love Fest collection and they actually included a perfume in this one which is from their Kiali line but it's called Love Fest Burning Cherry and I actually did pick this perfume up and I already received it which I got like a travel size just to see what it was like but the top notes in that one is Burning Cherry, Bergamot, Raspberry, Raspberry. <laughs> the middle notes is Rose, Damasana, I don't know how to say that word, <laughs> Jasmine, Helotrope, Praline, and the dry notes is Palo Santo, Grackwood, Patchouli, Peru Bomb, Tonka Beans, Vetiver, Haiti Essence. I can't even pronounce these words. But it definitely has a woodsy scent to it. So it's like cherry. There's a little bit of sweetness. And then there's a lot of woodsiness in the background of it. So I do feel like there's similarities to the Tom Ford cherry perfume, the last cherry one. A lot of people were like, I wonder if this is gonna be a dupe. And they are kind of similar, but the Tom Ford one, it has way more cherry to it. And this one has way more woods, but I don't know if you were, you know, curious about that perfume, but I did, I did get it. Cause I'm a huge perfume fan and I thought it would be perfect for the fall, which it is. And then they also came out with, in the Huda Beauty line, the Love Fest eyeshadow palette, which looks like every other palette she's ever come out with. It's like a bunch of orange and purples. It looks like a mini version of the, is it the Naughty palette? It has like a marble shade in it. It looks pretty, but I don't need a purple orange palette. And I, th I think there's some blushes. Oh yes, there's two 
glowy blushes in this lineup and I was like those blushes look so beautiful there's like a like a glowy apricot one and like a glowy cherry colored one and I really wanted that one but I was like you know what no 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 fight the urge <laughs> fight the urge to get a shimmery blush but they look really beautiful did I give you guys any prices I don't even know the prices to these but those two blushes I think they're like $40 each and I was like oh that's kind of expensive and I don't need it but they're both like sheeny and I think they're cream blushes maybe one day maybe one day those will be mine like next year maybe Black Friday I don't know but I'm holding off because I don't need any more blushes I have enough <laughs> oh sugar drizzle is also coming out with a little six pan palette and it actually looks like this one has a matte like one matte and then five shimmers this is the meant to be palette this is so cute this is going to be available on august 20th at 11 a.m cst ooh, ooh, ooh. this is cute i like the packaging i'm not sure how i feel about the pan sizes or not the pan sizes but how the pans are placed like it just feels like there's a lot of empty space within the palette and I know a lot of people hate when a palette isn't just like the standard structure of shadows when they have like different sizes or like weird shapes or a lot of like dead space people are like why and I do feel like this is a lot of dead space and it could have been smaller but it is still cute but I'm gonna pass I don't need it I have a lot of palettes from Sugar Drizzle and I love the shimmers and stuff from them and I'm happy with what I have but it is a cute palette Fenty also is coming out with the Eavesdrop Lit All Over Glow Enhancer. So I feel like this is going to be similar to the one that e.l.f. just came out with. The Halo Glow and uh, the Hollywood filter thing that Charlotte Tilbury has. And it's in that same kind of packaging as their tinted uh, moisturizer or like skin tint that they have. They're going to be $34 each. There's going to be four shades. This is coming soon. And I think this is intriguing. I like the idea of this. It would probably look so beautiful with the skin tint mixed in for a glowy effect. Now, I don't typically do like that kind of step to my makeup routine. Like I don't usually use glowy products with my foundations because I'm an oily skin type and I already get glowy on my own. But it's intriguing. But I'm not going to pick it up because I know it's not something I would actually use. I don't think I would take the time to mix in a glowy product into my foundation or put it on my face before I put foundation because I know the, the effect is just supposed to look really glowy. <laughs> like I know I'm not going to take the time to do that additional step, but I know that's really trendy. A lot of people love doing that, like adding that glowy enhancers to their foundations or just using it on their own and having like a natural glow on like their bare skin. So it makes sense that Fenty is coming out with one of those. And then It's Bell Cosmetics came out with the uh, cool summer dual liquid eyeshadows so this is part of their cool summer collection and they mentioned that they were going to start revealing more things within that collection and they finally made these available so you can actually get them on their website right now they are $28.99 each or you can get them in a bundle for 82 and there's two shimmers so one shimmer on one end and one shimmer on the other end and they look like they're supposed to be like shifty glitter like shimmer liquid eyeshadows which they look beautiful now i don't usually wear liquid eyeshadows i don't know when's the last time i put a liquid eyeshadow on my eyes they're just not something i tend to go for like i'm more into like you know pressed shimmer shadows that are in a palette i usually won't reach for a liquid shadow i'll usually always just stick with whatever palette i'm working with so i know i wouldn't get a lot of use out of these but the swatches look so beautiful and they showed like the shifts and everything so i think it would be a cool release especially if you like liquid shadows i'm sure they're gonna be really good and then the next release is from natasha denona and this is the my dream collection which is coming soon and this really intrigued me like i was like oh i need this i love it but i'm trying to talk myself out of it because i feel like i already have this with their other palettes because this one looks very similar to the retro palette which i have i'm going to show you guys here i mean that one looks a little bit more cool purple tone and this is like a lot more like mauve -y. but i feel like there's similarities to it and it looks like maybe there's a multi-chrome in that but i have the tri-chrome palette from them and the multi-chromes to me were okay from natasha denona they were more on the satin side i do think the cheek trio looks really pretty and then there's some lippies it's it's a more cool tone palette 
and it looks beautiful and I'd have to see like more photos of it but I think I need to pass I don't need to have every Natasha Denona palette do I I don't I don't so I'm gonna pass on this collection for now for now it also looks like Nomad Cosmetics is coming out with another palette I mean they're on fire they've been coming out with palettes back to back but this one looks like it's gonna be like a tropical theme one there's 21 shades and so far they've showed us three pinks and three greens and some of them look very neon-y now I don't know if it's because it has like a gray background but this is going to be available on August 22nd I'm sure they're going to reveal images of the palette soon they usually like sneak peek for like a couple days and then they finally show you the whole color story yeah August 20th is when you're going to be able to see the whole color story and I'm sure a lot of influencers will do videos and looks with the palettes before it comes out but it looks pretty and I'm also a sucker for Nomad Cosmetics and I'll have to see what the full color story is but I feel like I'm going to end up getting it but maybe I don't need to don't do it don't do it Brie <laughs> then Urban Decay came out with a collection called the She Hulk collection which is actually already available but there's a large palette a small palette and I think the packaging on the big palette looks absolutely stunning but I'm sad because when you open the palette you see the shades inside I don't feel like it matches the outer packaging so there's all these like muted color shimmers and there's a giant green like a lime green shade in the center which I don't get why that one shade is big and it's in the center it just throws me off I don't know why they did that I feel like they always try to be trendy and cool and then they always miss the mark you know <laughs> like they, they just try too hard and because they tried too hard they totally just went the wrong direction <laughs> I feel like that happens every time with them and then the small palette is $25 and that one looks like more of a warm tone color story let me see yeah it's like a like the screen packaging but the little one has no greens in it <laughs> like why why this gives me no hope vibes I don't get it I don't get it it's a warm tone neutral palette with green packaging oh my god they could have put like a deep blue in the bigger one they could have put like a deep green a mid-tone green this is definitely a hell no for me they just they just keep missing the mark and i just get sad every time i see that what else do i want to mention Ooh, ooh, okay this looks kind of cool guys like this looks really cool actually and i kind of want to try this this is from bella butte bar which is a brand i have not tried yet but this is supposed to be coming soon and i love the packaging it's called the celestial garden palette there's 15 shades in here there's five mattes five dual chromes four split pan cake liners and one multi-chrome and cake liners are so on trend right now like they're so in like this is what people you know, are using a lot like when you see makeup tutorials on instagram and tiktok and to have it in the palette and then have like dual chromes a multi-chrome and these mattes in here it looks beautiful I don't know I find this super intriguing very fun and I'm liking the color story so maybe this will be my chance to finally try Bella Butte Bar is it Be Bella Butte Bar I think that's their name but I'm gonna keep my eye out on this I'm like on the fence but I kind of want it then there's this from Melt they came out with some bronzers this is the ultra matte bronzer so it says it's a new ultra matte bronzer that's buildable ultra matte powder formula that blends like a cream effortlessly melting into your skin no patchiness or harsh lines get smooth and sunless warmth and four luxurious shades so it looks like there's light medium tan deep i don't know what do you guys think about this shade range i feel like like they could have added more shades like maybe one more lighter shade and then maybe get some more deeper shades and I do feel like these bronzers look more on the cool tone side which appeals to me because I do have more like reddish like cool undertones and I feel like most bronzers are very warm orange or yellow leaning and these actually look kind of cool tone but I do feel like they need more shades like this is not enough they could have gone deeper they could have gone lighter too um but maybe they're just coming out with their initial launch because like with their cream blushes they did like add more shades and expanded it so maybe they're just trying to see how it'll work but honestly i wish like brands would just come out with a bunch of shades at once so everybody of different skin colors could benefit from this but maybe like 
the deepest goes a lot deeper than I'm thinking and maybe the lighter one is not as dark as it looks in the picture but I feel like this might leave out some people with only four shades in a bronzer lineup but that's just my you know personal opinion on that but that was all the ones that I wanted to mention I feel like I've gone over a lot now if there's any release that I don't mention that comes out after I film this video I may like just pop up photos and you'll see it and I'll like put whether I would purchase or pass underneath it that's what I usually do because I'm kind of pre-filming this because this is going to go up in a couple of days so I'm sure more releases will come out but you guys will have to let me know your thoughts on these releases are you going to purchase any of them are you passing on any of them are you buying all of them I would love to hear from all of y'all and if you're new here and you enjoyed this video you like a lot of fun and colorful makeup content and a lot of stuff on like indie makeup then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family i'd love to have you here also don't forget to check out the description below i will link all the releases that i mentioned so you can find them release dates all that good stuff i always have a lot of info in the description if you're ever like wondering anything i will also link the makeup that i am wearing other videos of mine you might be interested in as well as my contact info i'm also on instagram as breezy lifestyle and breezy underscore beauty like i mentioned in the beginning so if you want to join my instagram fam i would really really love that i do post a lot of other content there as well but guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video for being here supporting my channel being amazing i love you guys all so very much and i just hope you're all doing well wherever you are in the world and i'm just sending you all so much light and love but until next time bye guys